Hi there, everyone. Our action today comes from Goodison Park, and the fans enjoying the good weather here. Martin Tyler here. Alan Smith is with me, I'm delighted to say. Premier League football for you, very shortly. It's Everton against Newcastle United. Yeah, thanks, Martin. Well, we've got a couple of teams here that their strengths are attacking, no doubt about it, so I'm sure they'll be going at each other very quickly. Well, they come here, the visitors, with this wonderful defensive record. Actually, it is the best defensive record in the division. It's a wonderful asset to have, isn't it, on the road, coming to a, a ground like this and to know that you really have got a good defence. Got the Everton lineup for you. Jordan Pickford is the goalkeeper. John Joe Kenny starts with Lucas Dini as the wide defenders. Mahmoud Dahoud plays with Andre Gomez in the middle of the park. And at the point of attack, just one lone striker. Thank you. Good as in park. Newcastle United's lineup. Martin Dubravka is the goalkeeper. Kamal Lascelles plays with Deandre Yedlin in the fullback positions. Isaac Hayden plays with Alain Saint Maxima as the wide options. And it looks good in attack with these two strikers. It's Tom Davis. Now Richarlis. We could be in. An excellent chance, more than matched by the goalkeeper, who's diffused the situation. Oh, great. Probing with the pass. It's a goal! Flag up for offside, it's not going to count. Well, really good organisation from the defence, and it was offside looking at it. Mahmoud Dahoud. Well, that is half-time. And the score is nil-nil here. Strong defensive performance from the visitors, as you'd expect. Half-time. Yep, goalless. And I just wonder whether we will see that net bulging at either end in the second half. Here's Joe Linton. Well, there's one for him to chase in behind. Well, there are deep crosses, and there are ones that just don't work, and that's uh, far, far too deep. Now, this is interesting, whether the manager is just going to switch things around a little bit. Well, they're going to shuffle the pack a bit now. We've reached the hour mark. Half an hour to go. Now Grant. He's through. Clean through. One-on-one on one against the goalkeeper. Yeah, it's a wonderful stop, Martin, isn't it? And uh, no bits and pieces either to follow up on. Corner swung in. Well, what a flamboyant effort. He's missed, but only just. He wouldn't have got to get it fractured. Their team, although they might have expected a more comfortable outing today, and urging them on here in the late stages. And the referee lets them go on. Advantage played by him. Referee Has blown and he's given the free kick. T 
Two new players ready to come on. He's just got to concentrate on making this count, and who knows, a, a little glance and it could be a match winner. From the byline, cuts it back. And here, it's the goalkeeper's ball. Now Grant, chance for a break in numbers. Being closed down here. He wants to take them on. In goes the cross, reaching for it a little bit with the header, and that's the expected result. Back to the training ground, I think. Oh, that is the final whistle, and it's finished level here. Really exciting here, and the two teams have been at each other hammer and tongs, but they've ended level. Yeah, coming into the match, I found it difficult to separate them, and that's how it's turned out at the end. Have you got time for just a few questions? No, no further questions, thank you. Thank you for your patience. We'll start taking questions now.
Okay, guys, we'll be wrapping up now. Thank you for attending. Welcome to Newcastle, to the city centre stadium that is St James's Park. I'm Martin Tyler, Alan Smith sitting alongside me. Well, here we are on the 31st of October, Halloween, hoping to have a celebration game. A lot of the fans are here in costumes on this uh, special date. It's Newcastle United against Aston Villa. Yeah, some scary stuff when you look around this ground. All the fans, though, in party mood, hoping for... A fantastic contest. I don't think there's anyone more likely in the Newcastle United lineup to be the man of the match today than this guy. Two in his previous match. A clear danger man for the opposition. Interesting team, this, for Newcastle United. Several changes. Martin Dubravka is the goalkeeper. Isaac Hayden plays with Alain Saint Maxima as the wide options. And looking at the front men, well, there are two of them in this lineup. Thank you, St. James. The Aston Villa team for this game. We've got it down as a 4-3-3. Yeah, it's a system that the Netherlands used to use all the time. I think, really, they invented it, and uh, plenty of countries have adopted it since. If it works, it's, it's really uh, tough to handle. John Joe Shelby. I think the wide man's got a chance here. There's space out near the touchline. Looking for teammates in the middle. Put away, he's almost defied gravity to get to that one. Full stretch, it was heading for the corner, that one. It's Villa's corner. Corner swung in. Oh, nowhere near. No, he's miscued that one, miscued it badly. 2-0. That's Alan McAnally keeping us bang up to date. Just read the intentions of the opposition there to make the interception. Wesley. Can he set himself now? 
was really stretched out to keep it out. Well, he needed every inch of his spine there, the keeper. And here comes the corner. He's gone in with the header, but the ball nowhere near going into the net. I think it's come off the top of his head, that one. That will be two added minutes. There will be a minimum of two minutes. John Joe Shelby anticipated the direction of the pass and was able to intervene. Strong piece of defending and clearing. McGinn. And there is the half-time whistle. Nil-nil at the break. I have to say, Alan, you were spot on at the start when you said this would be a really tight game. And the first half, nothing between them. No, you just cannot separate them at the moment. And it does have the look of a game that's going to be decided by just one goal. Here's Grant. That's a silly tackle, really. Well, decisive from the referee, no doubt in his mind that that was a yellow card. I don't know, you know, Martin, I, I know another referee might not book him for that offence. Well, this is a really good opportunity to take the lead. Push back out into play. Well, we'll follow that with interest. Here's Grant. Joe Linton takes the shot on. Well, he's reached that spectacularly. I thought that was in, Martin, I've got to say. In goes the corner. Decent distance from the punch from the goalkeeper. Shelby! He's blocked that well. That's a good headed clearance. John Joe Shelby. Looking for goal now. Well, that's a wonderful save. Oh, that was a goal all the way, wasn't it? Until the keeper. intervened. Put the corner in the middle. And the header doesn't really challenge him. He could have thrown his cap on that one. Poor header. There's been a goal in the Leicester City game. Alan McAnally. It's a third goal for Leicester City. 66 minutes played. 3-2. Great to have Alan McAnally out and about for us. And he's brought us right up to date again there. McGinn with a decent cross, successful tackle. He might have put his teammate in here. Now, just the keeper to beat. Real chance now. It looked a certain goal until the defender managed to get some contact. That's just instinct, but that is top defended. Corner played into the middle. Trying to get behind the defenders to get in a good cross. Very good challenge. Free kick. Well, is he going to shoot? Is he going to dink one in towards his team? Well, he might have bitten off more than he can chew from that distance with that free kick. Yeah, it's a wild one. He lost his shape there. He's cut it out. There we are, nothing to separate these two sides at the end of this contest. I don't think either team set out to draw this game, but that's the way it's ended up. Both trying to win it, but not quite able to fulfil their ambitions. Good game, though. Yeah, definitely, but one of those matches, I think, where you couldn't say any one of the teams deserved to win. It was uh, a really close contest.
Just a couple of questions for you. Thank you for your time. Thank you for your patience. All right, we'll start taking questions now. Okay, guys, we need to wrap this up now. No more questions. Hello and a warm welcome to South Wales. It's always a pleasure to broadcast from the Cardiff City Stadium. My name is Derek Ray and with me in the commentary position is the former Arsenal fullback Lee Dixon. And it's all about action from the Premier League in this case. It's Cardiff City up against Newcastle United.
Thanks, Derek. Good atmosphere here. Everybody looking forward to what should be a really entertaining game. So this, the team for Cardiff City. A standard 4-4-2, a formation you know well from your playing days, Lee. Yeah, I like this formation, Derek. It's very, very important that when they haven't got the ball, they all stick together, very solid look about it. When they don't have the ball, very important that they stay close together in midfield. The back four will link across the width of the pitch, but they've got to help the forwards. The two up front need width. So they start at 11 for Newcastle United. It does look as though they will mirror their opponents with a conventional 4-4-2 formation, Lee. Yeah, and when you go against a 4-4-2 and you're playing it yourself, you match up in midfield, and that's the important area. Sometimes when you play two midfield players, you can get outnumbered when a number 10 comes in between you, but it's not the case today. It's all about individuals against individuals. Who's going to come out on top? And this head-to-head -head confrontation is underway. And it's with Mendes Lang. The possession. Lomuth. Five minutes played. 1-0. Thank you, Alan McAnally. A really committed challenge, and it's gone out for a throw-in. Grujic. It's with Isaac Hayden. Grant, by no means on his own here. Well, let's see about the cross. Well, a sloppy clearance. What can the opposite... There's not a great margin for error when it comes to hitting it on the volley, Lee. No, it's a really difficult take. For West Ham United, it's been scored by Sebastian Haller. Wonderful chance. And he misfires. The score sheet remains blank. Well, it looked for all of the world that it should have been the first goal of the game. But his finish looks promising. A really sumptuous ball. Almost what you might call a jaw-dropping save. Oh, he's got no right to make that save. It's absolutely fantastic. And firing it into the area. Well, he failed to get it away properly. News of a goal in the Brighton game. Alan McAnally with details. It's a goal for Brighton and Hove Albion. 27 minutes played, 1-1. Alan McAnally with his finger on the pulse. Almiron. In position, but pressure to cope with. The opening goal, due reward for their efforts. Well, they've made the pressure count. They really deserve this lead. Well, here's the replay. Defenders don't like it when he goes to wide areas because they know what's going to happen. The ball's going to come into the box, and on that occasion, it comes in, and now they're picking it out the back of the net. Well, he's got to be delighted with his players. A big smile on his face. They've got the noses in front. They're in the lead. Well done. So the match has restarted. 1 0 here. Number 20, Colin Ahern Grant. Two additional minutes here. Rawls. Plenty of players waiting in the middle. And a chance to level it. And they've done it to square the game once again. Exhilarating. Well, here we'll see it again. There's two parts to every game, with and without the ball. They've soaked up a lot of pressure today, but they've got their reward. Well, let's have another view of that goal. Well, they must exercise caution, standing off as they are. Well, the earlier goal cancelled out, one apiece. The first half here comes to an end.
Well, an honest assessment would be that he hasn't really been on top of his game in attack league. Yeah, he's barely had a sniff at goal. Those defenders have mastered him pretty well. He needs to find a bit of magic if he's to help his side win today, but it all starts with testing the goalkeeper, Derek. Just a reminder, we have more absorbing action from the Premier League coming your way here on EA TV. It's Cardiff City facing Bournemouth. Yeah, Derek, should be a great atmosphere there. It's one I will be tuning in. So after that, a goal kick it'll be. They've decided that now is the time to go to the bench. Mendes Lang. Vassell. Might really be able to trouble them here. And they've won possession again. Well, the teams are locked together. Will it stay that way following this corner? He's driven in the corner. The corner played into the box. He was right on top of the situation to get the ball back for his team. Tremendous ball played through. He just needs to stay level-headed now. And this time, it's in! Well, when the run is timed to perfection and the ball is perfectly weighted, this is what you get, a great goal. A chance to revisit the goal. Well, the manager knows the importance of that goal. He also knows that you're at your most vulnerable just after you've scored. Well, as they kick off again, 2-1 the current state of affairs. Inside the last quarter of an hour. The atmosphere in here, the fans are doing their bit, trying to spur them on for the equaliser. Not a smart enough cross. there but no attacker able to touch it there has been plenty of limbering up from substitutes and now both sides will make personnel switches we've been waiting to find out now we know a minimum of three added minutes here Joe Linton Good idea, that particular move, but not to be. And there it is, the final whistle. some questions for you.
Thank you for your time.